Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at connecting an RX-11 drum machine. We're going to be doing that here with the external instrument. I'll show you some photos in just a minute, but this is a really handy way to be able to use our external outboard hardware instruments inside Logic. And best yet, we can now do that with the step sequencer. So you can hear all the different sounds, you can assign them inside the step sequencer, you can make a fully custom instrument. All you have to do is have a MIDI cable from your computer. Uh, it can be directly from an interface or a separate MIDI interface. And once we have that, we can also use the auto sampler, the new auto sampler, which is being included in here. And I'm going to just take, and I've already mapped out the right notes. I tested them out found out that the velocity is all happening in the lower velocities of the each drum pad. And so I just really picked the things that were useful for that. So the one shot, the lower velocity levels, not even doing too many of them. I chose three seconds because none of the samples last longer than three seconds. So I wanted to do that. And once I had all that, it was super easy just to add uh, that instrument as an EXS file, which plays directly in the sampler. So what I'm going to show you now is a side-by-side -side comparison of the live instrument playing through the external instrument into Logic and then the sample version. Now there's going to be a slight level difference because uh, they're triggering slightly different recordings, but the overall sound is exactly the same. They're just not a thousand percent uh, interchangeable with each other. But once we have that, once it gets put in there, then we can actually come through and take that instrument and, and use it in a variety of different ways. I'm going to also show you how to bring it into a brand new system in just a moment. Okay, so the connections we need then to summarize, you need to have the MIDI outputs of your computer, either from a MIDI device or from a MIDI port on, a, on your audio device. That's what I'm doing here. I've got one of the Steinberg units and it has a MIDI port on the back. Plug that into the drum machine. And then I took the audio out from the drum machine and plugged it into the audio inputs on the Steinberg audio interface. Set my levels uh, and then it was working just fine. So with the external instrument, you just had to make sure you had the right input selected and the right output for the MIDI selected. And then for the auto sampler, it was the same process. Matter of fact, I just put it on the exact same channel strip that the external instrument was on. That way it was just taking advantage of all the same routing. Then, in both cases, you just need to figure out exactly what you want to do. With the step sequencer, I had to do a little bit of programming just to get the right notes. Uh, and then for the auto sampler, I had to get the right range for which notes I wanted to record. There were two notes in there which aren't used, and it was smart detecting that they didn't need to be there when they tried to record. Nothing came through, so it deleted it from the final instrument. It's kind of nice. And then it just put it inside the music folder. And so let me show you where to go for that and how to then take these, because one of the things I'm doing Anytime I make an instrument like this, I'm just going to upload it and provide a link down in the comments so you can download the RX-11. And I'm going to be doing a new instrument every single week or a patch on one of the instruments I've already done. And so you can actually take those and use them in any of your projects. So you actually can download now the RX-11. Let me show you what to do with it. Okay, so you're going to get the files and it's going to be a folder that has the RX-11 dot exs and then this folder full of the samples 
what you need to do is come over into your music folder, the audio music apps, and then we have the sampler instruments. We have auto sampled, and you're gonna drag the RX-11 into that folder. Now, let me just copy it. I don't wanna actually move it. Let's copy it and paste it. And then down on the samplers right next to that, auto sampled again, I'm going to copy this and we'll paste it into there. Now, when I come into Logic, let's create a new empty project. That's fine. We'll do the sampler. And you'll see in here the auto sampled option. And there's the RX-11. That's the one I just copied in. So it's all there. Here's our mapping. Let's turn off some of the other things here. You can see the ones that didn't have notes. And in fact, it copied it, it recorded them empty. We could actually, if we wanted to, delete them. But they didn't have anything in the actual, on the drum machine. Those are just ones that they weren't using. Now I will say the RX-11 is not one of the like most renowned drum machines, but it's one that has been used by a lot of professionals over the years. The RX-5 is the, the other one that's in that same family and they've been used a ton and this is a, a classic sound. You can probably find some of these old machines online. I would at this point consider them somewhat vintage or old school and it's just great to be able to have access to these without having to necessarily have that hardware attached. So now I can come into my track, step sequencer, and you can see what I already had going there. But some of these in the default will already work. But the lower kick, uh, I think it was like A, yeah. And it's really cool how we can do uh, the whole multi-steps on this. So we have the ability to come through and do, uh, let's see, we want to do the note repeat. It's one of my favorites for some of these things. So we can just do one on there. And then on here, let's just do two, but we'll do this one in like eight or something. one for that one but it's just really cool how we can have some of this control now with the software version but even with the hardware version okay that's all i want to show just a quick exploration of making this uh, rx11 patch available inside logic even though just an hour ago it was only a hardware version outside of there gathering dust in a closet because it's too much of a pain to have it connected all the time Okay, last thing, make sure you do uh, follow the link in the description. You'll be able to download this instrument so you can have the RX-11 too, and you can use it however you want. Okay, talk to you later. We'll do another sampled instrument next week and some other video tutorials early next week.